This is an echocardiogram. It's an ultrasound of the heart. It shows us uh, most of what we need to know about whether the valves are opening appropriately, whether there's any leakiness of the uh, valves, if the heart pump function is strong or weak, um, all things that we need to know in assessing where to go next with this patient. What most people are talking about when they ask about cardiovascular symptoms, they mean heart symptoms. And so the most common symptoms that we see are one of chest pain, shortness of breath, or palpitations. A lot of the various types of problems that we deal with will have at least one of those symptoms. The most common symptom from a, a cardiac standpoint is probably chest pain uh, of various types, pressure, uh, aching, burning, some sort of chest discomfort. For the various types of peripheral work that I do, it's usually discomfort also, uh, achiness in the calves or sometimes in the quadriceps muscles, usually with walking. Most of the symptoms that we see in the cardiovascular realm get worse with exertion. You should be aware of anything on the left side of the chest. We often run into problems with people uh, who write off symptoms of vague chest discomfort. We'll often ask people if they're having chest pain, they say, no, I'm not having chest pain, but then they'll say a minute later, I was just having this pressure or achiness. If it's getting worse, uh, uh, particularly if it's occurring at rest, doesn't go away after a couple minutes, um, that could indicate a heart attack, can be a potentially life-threatening problem, and something that needs urgent care. There are different types of heart attacks. Uh, in, an art, in a patient who has uh, a completely blocked artery, uh, usually uh, they'll experience a severe uh, pressure, aching uh, on the left side of the chest, but symptoms can be variable depending on diabetes and other conditions that make chest pain less likely. It might include achiness in the jaw, in the neck, and the shoulder blades, and the, in the back. The severity depends on whether an artery blocks off or it's just partially blocked. If a person has a partially blocked artery, um, usually there's not significant damage to the underlying heart muscle. If the artery blocks off completely, and that's usually the type of symptom a person would have, is the unrelenting chest pain that, you know, they can even pass out or they just look really sick. Uh, if they have that kind of a, a heart attack, then you can lose heart muscle. And if that happens, you can go, go into heart failure. And those are people who tend to have shorter lifespans because of a heart attack if they don't get in emergently. A person should talk to their doctor anytime they have a new symptom of chest pain. Even amongst medical professionals, it can be difficult to differentiate between normal chest pain and abnormal chest pain. And it's just better to bring it to your doctor's attention if, if you're experiencing anything like that. The initial workup is always just sitting down in a basic history and physical and an exam. Uh, beyond that, an EKG will, will be done uh, and then various types of non-invasive tests like uh, an ultrasound of the heart or, or a stress test are usually the first studies. And in certain cases, we'll have a piercing go straight to an invasive heart catheterization, but more often one of the non-invasive studies will be done first.